All right, so the last time I come over here and mess with this box, there was wasp in it, so if I take off running, that's why. Um, now, like I've said before, I've gotten tons of negative comments over this little box here, so I'm going to go ahead and change out the receptacle to a GFCI since it has kind of an internal breaker, and... Um, I just want to point out to all those that said, oh, you know, some children are going to come over here and mess with that and get hurt, or somebody's going to come along and mess with it and get hurt. That's not going to happen. The, the main 200 amp breaker is shut off right now, and I've got a Brinks padlock on it. So this box can't be opened unless somebody actually, you know, breaks it open. And if they did that, then they're trespassing and it's their own problem anyway. But, I mean, when was the last time you guys saw the kids out here plugging stuff into the outlet? It doesn't happen. I'm the only one that messes with this stuff. And this is to make sure of that. My wife doesn't even have a key to this. Not that she would need one, but... I am the only one that has access to this. Even the electric company would have to break that lock off to get in there. Please don't have a bunch of wasps come out. Yep, there's a bunch in there. Son of a gun. Dang it. Okay, well, this, this breaker is definitely off. So I'm going to put this cover back on. And maybe they'll just stay in there. Or at least we can hope. Because I really don't need to get in there. I just need down here. So let me get some of these weeds out of the way, maybe. All righty. So it looks like a Phillips head will work for that. Let me make sure you guys are able to see that pretty well. Now I'm not just going to throw this away. This is still a good a good cover and everything. So I'm not going to throw this away. I'm going to keep it. I'll use it another time. And this same with this outlet. It's a 20 amp outlet and there's nothing wrong with it. So No reason to throw it away. We'll just set it back for something else. Okay, so you can see there's no power to that at all. <clears throat> Everybody likes to give me a hard time about stuff. You know what? I mean, I know what the risk is. It's not like I'm ignorant, okay? I just choose to take the risk. It's a, ch it's a conscious choice. Um, so, everybody takes risk in life, it's just, you know, depending on what you are particularly um, willing to accept. Okay, well, I'm not going to need this cover on here. So, I'll just take this cover off. <clears throat> but I'm not just going to throw this stuff away. I'm going to set it to the side and and keep it. So cuz these GFCI outlets are like 14 15 bucks for the cheapest one, so, you know. Not just going to throw it away. Okay, attention. Load terminals under this label are for feeding additional receptacles. Okay, so this is like a line deal. 
if you wanted to, to hook other outlets in, in, in line with this after this outlet so that those receptacles also would be GFCI protected then, then those are the terminals for that but we're not doing that we'll just use the, the bottom ones so alright and this looks like it's the type that has these little holes you don't wrap the wire around the screw you just stick the loosen the screw, stick the wire in one of them holes, and then tighten it down. <clears throat> All right, and so in case you guys are are curious or or don't know, the silver screw is for the neutral wire. The golden brass copper colored screw is for the hot, and then obviously your ground is green. So, I'm going to use this because it's faster. Apparently I had that one in there. Okay. Jeez Louise. Okay, well I didn't need to really tighten it that tight, so I don't know what was going on with that, but that's ridiculous. Okay, so there's that outlet going away. Okay. I don't think I brought down a pair of pliers with me. Dead gummit. And we'll try to straighten this out a bit. Let's see. Okay, the ground wire still um, goes around the, the screw on this application, so we'll stick that right in there. Alrighty. Guess we could. Well, it seems like it's already loose. So, like I said, the neutral wire goes on the the silver colored screw. Give that a good tug. Make sure it's in there good, and it is. Screwdriver is just a little bit on the big side. Okay, that should be it for that. Now we just have to fold that up and well, I prefer. I know a lot of people put the uh, the ground plug up, but I prefer it the other way with the ground plug down. Say what you will, it looks goofy upside down. To me, anyway. Let's 
straighten that up a little bit in that box. Now normally you would test that and make sure your wiring's good before you put the cover on. But I mean I'm pretty confident that it's <laughs> that it's the way it's supposed to be and uh, I don't want to mess with those wasps any more than I need to, so I'll go ahead and put the uh weatherproof cover on. Okay, so it looks like in its standard form it's going to fit our GFCI plug, so we won't have to use any of these adapters or or anything. So, let's see, I want it to open, let's see, do I want it to open, yeah I want it to open sideways, so for sideways it's over here. Alrighty. Okay. I guess that doesn't, I would think that there would need to be a gasket in there, but I guess it's channeled so it doesn't need one, I guess. So, as far as I can tell, that should be it. So I'm going to put all this back in this GFCI box. Oh, hey, here we go. Got some little GFCI stickers. Why not? We'll put one there. And why not put one on the actual outlet too? That proves it right there. <laughs> Okay, so we'll go ahead and throw this other outlet into this GFCI box along with the old weatherproof cover. No reason to throw any of this away. Okay, now let's uh, flip the power on and, and make sure she functions properly. Hopefully the wasp will stay in there. Okay, so the breaker's on, and we've got an orange light, so reset, orange light goes off, let's test it, breaker works, alright, we're good to go, let's put this back on to keep those wasps in there, because I do need to hook up my air compressor and fill it up, so I'll leave that on, and there we go, we're GFCI protected, so... Maybe this will make everybody just a little bit happier, and and uh, it makes me feel a little bit better too. Um, so we should be we should be a little better off now. So I guess I'll end this one here and and go on to another thing. Mm -hmm.